Hey everyone, welcome to Women's Health Network. I'm Dr. Sharon Stills, one of your physician experts over here. Excited as always to be here with you and share little tidbits of knowledge. And today we're gonna to talk about something that all of my patients are always ask me, asking me about. What foods can I eat to support and heal my adrenal glands? So if all my patients are asking me about that, I'm sure you're interested to know that as well. So before I tell you my top picks for healing adrenals, Food-wise, I just want to make sure that I get this one point across. When we're talking about healing the adrenals, it's equally as important to think about when we're eating as well as what we're eating. So going long periods of time can really stress the adrenals. It allows your blood sugar to drop, and then your adrenals have to like really step up and start secreting cortisol to try and balance things out, and that's not a good thing to do to them. It's mean. <laughs> so what you wanna do to love yourself and your body and love your adrenals is you wanna eat your food, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Make sure you eat enough of the good foods I'm talking about so you satiate yourself and keep your blood sugar stable. Try and get on a regular meal schedule. So have your breakfast, lunch, and dinner at, you know, the similar times each day. And that way your adrenals are going to, like, get to rest a bit. So here we go. My top picks for foods that support the adrenal glands. Number one, healthy proteins. And so my favorite is salmon. I love salmon. Make sure that it is wild and not farm raised. You don't need to be getting the antibiotics and the additives and things that they put in there. But salmon is a great source of protein. It's low in calories, easily digested, and it's going to give you the protein to stabilize your blood sugars that your adrenals need. <clears throat> Number two, greens. Dark leafy greens are amazing sources of magnesium, which is going to provide the necessary energy your adrenals need, as well as all the cells in your body. So what can you eat for dark greens? It can be kale. It can be Swiss chard. It can be mustard greens. There's so many options. It can be beet greens. So mix it up. Make sure they're organic because we want to get those good nutrients. We don't need the pesticides. And make sure you're getting your dark leafy greens. We also want to focus on eating foods that are rich in vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin B, specifically vitamin B5, pantothenic acid, which is intimately involved with production of stress hormones in the adrenal glands. So for vitamin C, think rainbow. Think red and orange colorful fruits and veggies. Peppers, red and orange peppers, carrots, apples. There's so many choices, squashes, so mix it up. It's always good to eat a large variety and not get stuck in a rut. Even though, say, peppers are really healthy and good for you, it's not good to eat the same thing every day because every vegetable has different nutrients and different things it's gonna provide to your body, so you wanna embrace it all. When we're thinking about vitamin E, you can think about foods like avocados and hazelnuts and almonds and asparagus. Those are really going to support your vitamin E. And then for vitamin B5, panathenic acid, egg yolks are a great source. So are lentils and split peas, as well as proteins that we already spoke about. Finally, skip foods with added sugar and extra caffeine. So sugary foods, we all know sugar is not good for us. And so avoiding those processed candy bars, those donuts, those cookies, those cakes, and also skipping the caffeine. So rather than having a big cup of coffee in the morning, try and have a glass of lemon water and then get to eating your protein. And if you are craving something sweet, Try some sweet berries. Once you get yourself off sugar, it's amazing how sweet berries will taste and how much you will appreciate them. So paying attention to your diet is just one part of healing your adrenals. And so I encourage you to watch my companion video on healing adrenal fatigue naturally for more ways that you can balance your cortisol levels and support your adrenals for vibrant health. So thanks so much for watching. If you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe to our Women's Health Network channel for more empowering, more empowering <laughs> videos for your health. And feel free to share with your friends so you can all get healthy together. See you soon. Bye.